Praise Amid the Problems, a, devo a devotional message by Dr. David Jeremiah. And uh, the given scripture here comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 through 7. Comfort in suffering. Blessed be, to, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abounds through Christ. Now, if we are if we are afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effective for enduring the same sufferings which we also suffer. Or, if we are comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope for you is steadfast, because we know that as you are partakers of the sufferings, so also you will partake of the consolation. Rene Bondy is a quadriplegic who incredibly writes about praising God, even amid, amid, amid troubles. Uh, during the last two decades, she wrote, I've learned many life lessons. I've been in the valley of darkness, and I've been on the mountaintop. One of the most valuable lessons I've learned is how important, even foundational, it is for believers to praise our Lord at all times. That's a lesson learned over time and with experience. Our natural reaction to valleys of darkness is to collapse and panic attacks or fits of depression or rage. Most of us react with understandable fear when bad news comes. But we can't remain in a fearful, depressed, or angry state. When trouble comes into our, our life, one of the first responses should be to praise God. As we praise Him for who He is, peace and comfort will flood our heart and life. Take a moment today to praise God for who He is and all He has done for you. It's more natural to gri to gr yeah. It's more natural to gripe and complain and question than it is to to praise in the midst of disappointment and confusion. Yet we are to give praise continually. How? We can give praise continually by remembering God, including Him, in our day and filtering whatever happens through His perspective. And there you have it. And remember, I have God. He's watching you. If anybody uh, wonders what these rings are, King Jesus and the line of Judah. Anyways, let's praise amid the problems.